We're looking at page number seven from the holiday homework. In case anybody is struggling with it, I thought I'd give you an example. So let's take a look. The shop has five flavors of ice cream, A, B, C, D, and E, none of which sound very appetizing. In a one hour period, 24 people come into the shop and purchase ice cream. Eight, choose flavor A, five, B, four, C, and six, choose flavor D. And finally, one person chooses flavor E. If a random person had been chosen during that one hour period, calculate the probability they choose flavor B, not flavor D or E, or flavor A or C. But what they're really saying is, what is the probability that one of those 24 people selected a particular flavor? So remember, probability is desired over total. So if we pick out our desired outcomes over the total that we have, we'll have a probability. Total has been given to us, it's 24. We have a total of so for flavor B, how many desired outcomes at flavor B? There's five that choose flavor B. So five out of 24. That's your probability. Not flavor D or E. Well, what flavors is that? That's flavor A, B, or C. So let's figure out the total desired outcomes that would have been A, B, or C. That would be eight plus five plus four, which is equal to 17. So 17 out of 24, oops, out of 24 is our probability. So 17 out of 24 chance that one of those people would have chosen flavor A, B, or C. Okay, looking at question C, flavor of A or C. Again, we need to think about what is the desired outcome. So how many for flavored A? Eight. And how many for flavor C? Four. That adds up to 12. So 12 are desired out of how many? The 24 total. So that's a fraction we can reduce down to one half. So the probability that one out of those 24 people would have chosen flavor A or C is a half, 50% chance that those flavors would have been picked in that hour 